Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from lovely Houston. Do you hear them cheer? He said Houston. Woohoo! Yeah, all right. Anyway, um, what is the tool for today? Well, I just got back from a six-week jaunt around the world, as you do. I mean, I was, went from Costa Rica to Paris to Vienna to Brazil back to Venice, Italy to facilitate a benevolent capitalism class. I have been around, okay? And one of the things that has come up recently really dynamically is the idea of creation. What the hell is it? And I've been speaking about this a lot in classes lately because I realize so many of us have been given some weird skewed point of view of what creation is that makes us think it's a mental construct and that we have to judge each step along the way and course correct based on our judgments and whether we're meeting our goals. And I'm sorry, that doesn't work for humanoids. For you guys, you're like, ah, I can't do that. Neither could I. And I always wondered prior to access, I always wondered like, what is it? Like everybody else can seem to do this, but I can't. So what is creation really? Well, the first part of it is you need to be willing to ask for what it is you desire. Okay, and this is huge because what happens is, I, I, let me give you an example of a lady that I was working with in a class and we were talking and she wanted to change her money situation. She's like, I'm doing this tool and I'm doing this tool, and I'm doing this tool and I really need to double my income. And I said, have you ever asked? And she went, what do you mean? I said, have you ever asked for that amount of money? She went, no. And I'm like, okay, so you've been doing tool after tool after tool, but you never said, hey universe, can I have this? She went, no. I'm like, do that. Because she was doing all the stuff, right? But she had never asked. And I realized this is one of the missing, one of the biggest missing elements in creation. And so let me give you an example of, of how creation can look. Now, there's all kinds of other pieces to it. Please, you know, it's a short video, I'm simplifying it, but I wanna give you this, okay? So right now, think of one area of your life that you would really like to have change. But hopefully not one of those areas you're totally stressing out about, although it could be one of those two. It's just, you tend to have so much charge on those, we need to get some of that stuff out of the way first. So you decide what you wanna work on, okay? Okay, got it? Cool. Okay, so now here's what I'd like you to do. Get the sense and the energy and the space that it would be. Get the sense of the way it would be for that to change or for that thing you're asking for to show up. So if you're asking for a billion dollars, get the way it would be to have a billion dollars. And just bask in that energy for a moment the space of that, the, the way qualitatively that it shows up in your world. And it goes beyond feeling even to actually your sensing of that energy, okay? It goes beyond thought because this thing can't even figure that out, which is where a lot of us are limited because we won't let ourselves just get the energy of it. And what's funny is when I ask you to do it, for a lot of you, it gets easier because I know this. So I'm kind of sharing it with you in this, okay? So get the sense of the way it would be for that to change. Cool, you've been with that for a little while, even while listening to me talk. You probably ignored me talking because it felt so good to have that thing like, you're like, oh my God, it would be peaceful. It would be happy, it would be spacious. It's like, I would, uh, wow. It's like your world softens, you know what I mean? And that's the way it is for all of these things that you're asking for, which is so interesting because nobody ever tells us this, right? So get the sense of the way it would be for that to change. And now ask. Oh, go, just go, I'm asking for that. I'm asking to have that in my life. I'm asking to have that as my life. I'm asking to have that in my reality. I'm asking to have that as my reality, okay? And then the next thing you do is, universe, hook a brother up, hook a sister up. Dear consciousness, please help. And then you also have to acknowledge, I'm willing to change whatever it takes in order to have this show up. This can be a challenge sometimes, okay? But it doesn't actually have to be because one of the things I've noticed is even when I was really holding on to something or someone, when I finally went, okay, I'm going to ask for this thing that's greater, whatever that is, and I let that tiny little connection with something or someone go, everything in my life got greater. And then my connection to that person or that thing got even greater or it just dissolved and I didn't even notice. So this is where you start to be willing to allow any change to occur which is part of this asking and then being willing to receive. I know you've all heard ask and you shall receive. I have a very strange point of view that ask and you shall receive was hidden in the Bible so nobody would believe that it worked. Sorry, that was kind of a joke, kind of not. So, okay, do you get it? It's really that simple. Now, 
A lot of you have heard and a lot of you have sent me emails asking about when the dates are because I actually have an Ask Telecall coming up that's actually about this subject. But it, I don't even know when. It's coming up sometime late in July, okay? Um, somewhere in the email you get with this, you'll be able to find it. But I want you to have this tool, even if you aren't able to participate in the Telecall, I want you to have this because this is so basic and so fundamental to creation from consciousness that without it, you're basically missing 99% of what you could choose and what you could create. Now, the other parts of what need to be gone into is, and if you want, like look at the 300 videos I have on YouTube. There are a ton of tools there. And when I say a ton, I mean like a buttload, like so many. But so the other part is, as you do this and you ask for this, then what happens is the stuff that is in the way, the points of view that you have that are in the way, the people that are in the way of you having this thing that you've been asking for, start to present themselves right in front of your face. That's when you want to use all the other tools that you've been gifted in the tour of consciousness and change the stickiness that that creates. And then they and those points of view and those people will no longer be a roadblock. And then you will start to receive what you're asking for. It's phenomenally brilliant. It's phenomenally simple. And it's something that practically nobody in the world seems to know about. And I don't know why, which I was why I'm making this video. So you know about it. OK, so I hope this has been a contribution to you. Thank you so much for the choices you are making to create greater in your life, to create greater for you and everybody else. Thank you for being part of the tour of consciousness and being part of the movement that this is and the gift that it is to so many people. And if you like this video, please like it so other people can find it. If you really like it, please subscribe so we can let you know when we have other videos and then other people can find it even more. That'd be awesome. What a contribution. So thank you so much. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please do it and then see what shows up and then use the other tools like Interesting Point of View and Pock and Pod, the superheroes of consciousness to change the stuff that comes up after you ask. Thank you, my beautiful friends. What if you truly being you are the gift, the change and the possibility this world requires? You are and I can't wait to meet you in person someday. Bye.